Hey, how you doing today, guys? My name is TJ Dunaway. I am co-owner of Rant Doctor, and we have a lot of discussions about what you can and cannot install into fiberglass. Um, we use mode secure mounts, which is actually installed right here. Um, on the box, they actually rate it for it, uh, eighth inch to quarter inch, and it should hold up to about 300 pounds. So we use these. Um, we get a lot of feedback on people asking if they can use toggle bolts. I've never used them. They will not put it on the box saying that these are safe, so we don't use them. But we're going to test it today. Uh, we have a shower that we're doing here in uh, Louisiana, and we're going to tear this thing out and put it in a new shower. So what better way to do it? We're going to give a test. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm going to have John. He's going to install on this side the mode and secure mount because there is a hole here and it probably is going to weaken this side of it i want to install the one that you know says that it can actually hold the rating on this one there is no holes so we're going to actually install the toggles so we'll see what happens sure on this side we're going to install the mode mounts for for the fiberglass uh, and on this side we are installing uh, the snap toggle for the stress test With the moment mouse, you gotta use the moment grab bar, so you can't be used with any other grab bars because they're specifically designed for moment grab bars. We've got the toggle bolt uh, attached on this side, and then we've got the Moen secure mount attached on this side. I've got this scale that I actually purchased off of Amazon and we are going to connect it. So it'll tell me how much pressure is being exerted on this grab bar and how much pressure is being exerted on this grab bar. Uh, I've got two ratchet straps. We're gonna hook this up, see what we get. All right guys. We got it set up here. Again, we have the mode secure mounts on this side right here, and we have toggle bolts on this side. We are currently at 27.56 pounds. We're gonna start a uh, ratcheting. We're only gonna do a little bit. And right here. We are at 59. We're gonna get up to 100 and we're gonna leave it. We'll let it sit for about three minutes and then we'll come back and ratchet it again. Alright, we're at 111. We're gonna leave it. A few moments later. Alright, so we're gonna cut the sheetrock back a little bit uh, just to alleviate some stress on the sheetrock. We didn't want to you know, pull that out. Uh, when we did that, it dropped it down to 93. Uh, most of the time, you're supposed to have a stud here. I do not. That's brutal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and ratchet it. Let's see where we're at. Uh, we're at 116 right here. Uh, we're trying to get it up to 250 pounds. ADA requires that a grab bar can withstand 250 pounds. So that's really the number we're going to. Hopefully, they both make it. All right, guys, we had to reinforce it a little bit. Uh, we'll put a screw right here. They don't have a stud running straight down. They just have a uh, uh, little bracing that's sideways. So we put one right here, and we re it here, here, and we have it here. So we had to readjust a little bit, but uh, we got it back up to 165. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ratchet it one more time, and we'll leave it. There's some, uh, there's some cracking going on, but toggle bolts are uh, holding their weight. We're at uh, 193, it's dropping a little bit right now. Uh, we'll leave it for three minutes and see where we're at. All right, so it's actually, it's dropped a pretty good bit. Uh, we're down to 182 right now. Uh, I'm gonna ratchet it again. Really hope it don't fall <laughs> or fail. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's some cracking going on. We're at uh, 209. We are 40 pounds away from ADA requirements. Uh, now, this all depends on the condition of your fiberglass. This also depends on how thick your fiberglass is. So this is this is not foolproof. Do not do not you know take and do your own research on it before you try to do any of this stuff. But uh, dog bolts are holding their weight. It's been another three minutes. Uh, we've dropped down to 199.52. I'm gonna ratchet it again, and hopefully it still holds. All right, so we are at 249. Oh, we're dropping. I did ratchet it twice. It dropped significantly, it dropped about 20 pounds pressure, but still, I mean, it's at uh, 229. Uh, we're gonna ratchet it again. It, it should push it over that 250 mark. All right, so I just ratcheted it again. Uh, it started at 265 and it's dropping. Um, you can hear the cracking on both sides from the bones and from the uh, toggle bolts. So, uh, just for me sitting here talking, we're down to 261. But they made it to the 250 mark, which is, is honestly very impressive. Uh, I'm not sure if I would 100% trust it. Uh, only, only time to tell on that, but overall, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's been another three minutes. It's uh, still dropping. We're down to 246. That was with uh, one ratchet on it. So honestly, pretty pretty good. Let's give it one more. Uh, probably not going to go all the way. Uh, it's his uh, meeting ADA requirements on on that. So I just ratcheted it twice. We're gonna let it sit at this. Uh, it started at about 312. You can really hear some cracking now. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with how the toggle bolts are acting right now. Uh, as long as it meets that 250, we, we, might, we might use it. Our uh, glass is in good condition. We just hit three minutes again. Uh, I'm gonna ratchet one more time and then we're gonna call it. Looks like the shower's gonna fall in before uh, these uh, toggle bolts or the mow amount fails. So that's pretty good.